Hey guys, it's me, Rhi, and today we're going to be playing with the Hocus Pocus ColourPop collection. Um, I have been playing around with it before. I don't know, really know what look I'm going to do today, but we're just going to go ahead and play with it. I really like it a lot. I think it's well worth it, and it will be restocking, so if you didn't get it the first time, definitely don't be upset. They always restock three times. They've restocked the Sailor Moon collection so many times, and that was supposed to be like a limited edition one, and people were so upset over not getting it so definitely don't be upset um let's go ahead and start with my guard dog um i'm gonna go ahead and start with putting hello salem all over do i want to do that we're gonna put hello salem in my crease there is some fallout, so make sure you get that off your brush. This is a nice little transition color, and even like, it's just a good way to start, because you can always build it up, or you can use it to tone down your look. And I really like it. And I started doing this after I saw a YouTuber called Makeup by Calissa do this and she gave me a really nice look to work with and I really liked what she did so if you haven't watched her hocus pocus video I highly recommend it she did a really nice fall video and it was such a nice like autumn look and I will definitely be using it for like parties or stuff I don't want to go all out for so yeah that's a good way to start but I'm thinking of being a little bit more dramatic than she was. She did a nice little glam look, but I kind of want to use some of these darker colors and play with it a lot more and make something a little bit more dramatic. So that's just a nice way to start and you can always build it up. For example, I think I'm going to go in with Goodbye Cruel World and just make this outer part a little bit more dramatic. I'm only going lightly into Goodbye Cruel World. So this is the color. I forgot to hold it up and show you what color I'm using. It's that one that's by my thumb. And Hello Salem is this kind of nude-ish color. I'm like off my game today, but hey. And it blends so beautifully into this Hello Salem, too. Do you guys like my little Halloween compact? I use this in all my videos, but I like using it during Halloween, too, because, like, it's more specific. This side's going to be harder to do. And I'm going to take a fluffier brush and blend that because it didn't turn out as nice as this side did. But that's because I'm struggling. I'm actually going to take Hello Salem onto my lid too, just because it's a nice color to put down. I'm going to put Tis Firm on top of it, so just go back into that Hello Salem, because I keep forgetting there's no mirror on that. Also, so I can blend that darker outer corner a little bit more to make it look a little bit less like, ooh. Because on that other eye, it looked a little, ooh. So, yeah. Let's clean that up a little. I actually am still not happy with how that other eye, the left, this eye went. So, I'm just going to 
go back in there a little bit and just darken it and blend out. I'm going to go back into Hello Salem and blend the top a little bit now. There we go. And I'm going to go into Tis Firm, which is this sparkly red color right here. I like this. First time I used this, I was surprised by the fallout and it just went all over my lower lid and it just wasn't a good look for me. I'm just like so happy with how it blends. It blends so beautifully. I know my lower, I have such bad dark circles right now and I ran out of concealer and I just haven't gotten more. So instead of doing eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I thought I'd go in with this cream gel liner in what shade is this? It's the red shade. I forget what that one is called. Sisters. I got rid of the packaging for them so But just go along your lower lash line. It's surprisingly easy to use. And I get twitchy when there's eyeliner on my lower lash line. Like putting that on, I was twitchy. So I'm just gonna go back and blend it a little bit with the smudgy brush that I usually use for my lower lash line. And I just poke myself in the eye. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, so that just made it a little bit less harsh. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to use Full Moon, which is a sparkly white. I'm just going to do that and just keep forgetting there's no mirror in this. So yeah, I'm lastly going to go in I say lastly, but we're going to do a bit with the face too, with full Brew Potion, which is this gold sparkly shade. The garbage man's here, so my dog's going to freak out a little bit. And I'm just going to put that on top of Tiz Firm, just to add a little bit of sparkle. Mostly because I have hooded eyes, so the, um, the gel glitter, the Glitterly Obsessed, doesn't work amazing for me. So that just adds a little bit of sparkle. But I am going to use the Glitterly Obsessed just to show you guys how it works and how much I love it. My friend Julia, who I've mentioned before and she did the Sailor Moon unboxing with me, loves the glitter. And she does it, she uses it as a highlighter, which I really like, and she can pull that off. Cause she does like more bolder looks. Where's my eyeliner? They really don't like the garbage man, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna use eyeliner. Just, I don't think I'm gonna do a wing cause I'm going to try to stop them from barking real fast. Okay, garbage man is gone, so we're just going to finish up the eyes and move on. Um, using my eyeliner, I'm just going to do a line along my upper lash line. Okay, now that we've lined our eyes, our upper lash line, we're going to use mascara. And I use these two a lot recently. I've been using these two a lot. They're the Color Workshop. And they were like three bucks in a kit. And surprise, surprise, they work. So just upper lashes and lower lashes. I 
Okay, so here's our finished eye look. I really like it. I had no idea what I was doing and it came out perfect, so um, I'm gonna go and blush, obviously. And I use the Sailor Moon ColourPop one. This is Cat's Eye and it's the sparkly one. Then we're gonna go in with my highlighter. Where's my highlighter? Okay, there it is. I use e.l.f. in the shade Moonlight Pearls. It's just this. Nothing special. But we're gonna make it special in a minute. To make it special, we're gonna use Another Glorious Morning the glitterly obsessed. I love the packaging on this. I've talked about this before, but it's little binks and I actually took um I don't keep the packaging like the outer box a lot just cuz it takes up a lot of space. But I did keep the there's a little part on it that says I shall be with you always. And I kept that just cuz I thought it was really cute. We're going to take that. I'm going to take this crappy a dollar brush I ha I have from like years ago. Because I don't like using my good brushes for glitter. And I'm going to dunk it into this. Pick up a bit of it. It smells really good. Like, I don't know if it's just me being weird, but... And we're just going to go... Right up. Just like it's highlighter. Can't see very well in this light, but... Believe me, it looks very good. And this is what Julia does. And she'll do it with... See how it just comes out a little bit nicer right there? And she'll do it with any color, too. That's what I like about Julia. She takes... Risks. She did a Cyberpunk 2077 inspired look and she put the purple glitter on her face. Please? I don't know why. I'm like... Okay. Next, we're gonna finish off with lipstick. Now, I really like all the lipsticks in this collection. I think they're all really nice. They're all different shades of red, which is great. And I really like the Mary one. I really wanna try that today. Mine is broken. The lipstick itself is a little broken, so we're just gonna try our best. And if it doesn't work, I'll use the Winnie shade, because I used the Sarah shade on the last Hocus Pocus video I did. But we're gonna do Mary. It's called I Smell Children. This is called, what's this called? Spinster Ladies. I don't usually use lip liner so that was weird for me I've, tr I've started using it just because I bought it with this like collection but I don't really ever need like use it so hopefully this is still in one piece cool I'll probably try to get another one of these during the restock a berry red it's like a very nice bright ruby berry thing going on if there's a, when there's a restock not if there's a restock there's definitely gonna be a restock I'm gonna try to get another one of the lip kits for Mary just cuz it's kind of beat up it wasn't anyone's fault it just kind of happened in shipping but this is my finished look I really like this collection so much I'm very very pleased with it um, this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, do what you do. And until next Friday, have a fantastic week and I will see you.